Sean in England writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, my question is about external crossovers. I have removed the crossovers from the speaker cabinet and painstakingly upgraded and applied them into some lovely, lovely wooden boxes. I've heard that they are better placed at the power end amp of the connection rather than the speaker connection side. And what are your views on this and of removing them in general? Okay. Well, I removed the crossovers from the IRS-5, put them in separate boxes, and the system sounded better. Now, a common mistake that I made, and you might have made as well, but I don't know, is that at the same time that I did that, I also upgraded all the components. <laughs> I don't know if I heard the difference between pulling them out of the speaker, they were in the base, or the improvement of upgraded components. Probably a bit of both. So, you know, there is good evidence that I've known about for years, whether it's in electronics or in speakers, that if, if you're vibrating at audio frequencies, components they will have a ghosting of sound to them. Capacitors, for instance, when they vibrate, create small ghosting electrical signals that match the delayed response of the vibrations from the music from the loudspeakers. Now, the ones inside of the components inside of your speakers, they also have it. Fortunately, they are not delayed because the speaker's making it. They are vibrating along with the speaker. So it's unlikely, especially since you're not further amplifying it, that you're going to hear anything, but I don't know, probably six of one, half dozen of another. A couple of examples. If you take the crossover out of the speaker, now you've got more connecting cables, you've got connectors and things that aren't going to be great for the sound that you have to then hook up. And if it's inside of the speaker, it's close to the drivers, which is really where you want it to be. The closer you are to the driver, to its frequency dividing network, I think the better the sound that you're going to get. Certainly, in my opinion, that's what I would do. The closer they are to the amplifier, the, uh, I mean, you could make a number of arguments, but, and I'll, I'll give you a couple, but I, I think you're better off having it closer to the speaker. If you have it closer to the amplifier, then you have the opportunity to take the tweeter and the woofer and the mid-range, if you have three, and separately run cables to those drivers, that's something that we do that by wiring has always been a little bit better than single wiring. I just don't think it's worth the effort. And if it were me, I would leave the crossover in the speaker close to the drivers as best I could. So. I honestly don't know that it makes a whole lot of difference, but it's fun to think about it and it's certainly fun to play around with it. <laughs> and it makes for an interesting question. All right. Thank you. And I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.